So you've bought a shiny new 4K TV and you want to show the same image on a remote TV, perhaps in the kitchen, and that TV is only capable of 1080p. I'm going to show you what you need to be able to do that. So the first thing we need is a splitter so that we've got two outputs from the one source. Most splitters will look at the resolution of the least capable TV and duplicate that across both outputs. We don't want to do that so this splitter looks at the TV that's connected to output number one. If it detects a 4K TV it'll duplicate a 4K signal across both of its outputs regardless of what's connected to the second output. So we've got two 4K images in that case, signals, and we therefore need a scaler such as this one um, which takes a 4K input and produces a 1080p output and that output is connected to our 1080p TV here. So I'll connect these up and show you the results. So this is the input, this is the source, which is a, an Xbox One in this case. This is the 4K TV connected to output one. Output two is connected to the scaler and the scaler is connected to the 1080p TV. So I'll power those up. So we've now got two TVs displaying the same image the image on the 4K TV is 2160p, 4K, and the image on the 1080p TV is 1080p. These are screenshots of the Xbox One setup. The Xbox wouldn't allow any of these settings if it detected that the system wasn't capable of them. So it's allowing resolution at 4K, color depth, 8 bit color depth, 4K at 60 Hz, but also at 50 Hz and 24 Hz. It's allowing HDR, 4K obviously, and YCC at 422. Just one more thing to show you on the splitter. The splitter has a switch here. I don't know whether you can see that but it's labelled STD at one side and TV at the other. It's set to TV so that it looks for the capability of the TV. If it was set to STD it would work as a normal splitter. It would determine the resolution of the least capable device which in this case is 1080p here and it will output 1080p to both the 1080p TV and the 4k TV which is clearly not what we wish and the scaler is showing here that it's receiving 1080p input and is producing a 1080p output. So make sure that the EDID switch is set to TV then we'll get a 4K t picture on the 4K TV and we'll get a 1080 image on the 1080p TV. I just thought while I had the kit with here I would try um, using a Cat5 extender. So I've attached here a Cat5 extender to the output of the scaler um, through to the transmitter, um, reasonably short length of, um, is it Cat5 here? 
uh, yes, Cat5 E cable here um, to the receiver and then from the receiver to the 1080p monitor. Monitor, I don't know whether you can read, that is um, it's still showing 1080p. The 4K TV is still showing 4K, obviously. Um, but that's another alternative. These two extenders are capable of um, extending an HDMI signal over a distance of 120 meters, absolute maximum, um, with good quality Cat6 cable. They are also capable of duplicating images, so we could have one transmitter and several receivers, so several 1080p displays as well, um, by using a Ethernet switch. Um, so I just thought I would try that and and show that it works um, in conjunction with the scalar and splitter setup that we had before. So that's it. Um, you'll find these, I'll put a link to these on the video as well um, and I'll put a link obviously to the scalar and splitter on the video. Okay, thank you for watching.